What's up everybody? Welcome to today's video. Today we're in the woods checking out an abandoned castle. And this isn't just any abandoned castle in the woods, as cliche as it sounds. This one was owned by David Abercrombie of Abercrombie and Fitch. And uh, right now we're in the woods with my boy Chris. Urbex and chill. Urbex and chillin' right now. And uh, I'm gonna give you a little bit of the history right now and maybe a little bit more when we go up there. So starting in 1892, Abercrombie started this business. Abercrombie, as everybody knows, and before it was in every shopping mall and everybody wore their products, teenagers wore their products, it was actually made for explorers, people who loved the outdoors and people who hiked. And one of his best friends at the time was former president Teddy Roosevelt, who actually visited this estate on numerous occasions. One interesting thing about David Abercrombie is that he actually served in World War I. And after he served in World War I overseas to help troops, he retired and he came out into the woods and he built his dream home. That was built in 1937 and it was built as a 25 room medieval Scottish castle. And uh, it's suited with a spiral staircase. It's an absolute beautiful location and uh, we're gonna be checking it out now. We just gotta figure out how to get there. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. We're chasing the sunlight. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, leave a thumbs up. Let's check it out. All right, so we're pulling up to the first little section of the mansion. As you can see, it's pretty rocky around here. And uh, I don't know if you can see it now, but we have a little bridge made of stone with a creek or some sort of arch in the middle. But we're gonna check it out, go get a little closer. This is really cool. Yeah, I thought water maybe flew through here at one point. I mean, that would make sense for a bridge. But uh, I don't know, pretty cool. Still in very good condition. And now we're just gonna really take the driveway up straight to the home. Here's the top of the bridge with some people actually on their way here. Hopefully the other explorers are not troublemakers. But uh, we're gonna be walking on this mossy, overgrown, and filled with potholes. This road leads right up to the mansion. So, should be seeing our first look anytime now. So we came up to a split in the road. I do see some buildings over that way, but the main mansion is right here, so we're definitely gonna check this out first. Pretty long driveway. Definitely someone who loved the outdoors wanted to escape here, so I totally understand that. Hopefully one day I can have my own house deep in the woods away from all people, all problems. Wow, this place is huge. Looks like someone was cutting wood here. arch windows over there though wow yeah it looks like something that would be in like the UK yeah right old computer here too yeah we have a computer and a monitor, circa 1990s. Look at the ironwork right in front of one of the entrances. So this place is, looks like a little bit trashed, a little bit of things everywhere. But as we look in this window here, we have a ton of literature. Like I said, the last people who lived here 
1980. And uh, I don't know if you could see, there's books that ride up about halfway through that doorway. So there's a lot of things to look at. We're gonna have to do a little bit of digging and see what we can find. We have a jacket here, trench coat. That's definitely not Abercrombie and Fitch. We're fighting daylight, so we're gonna have to see what we could see in here. Getting explore this place pretty quickly. This is pretty cool. We have a giant TV, fat back, and what else do we have over here? Yeah, like I said, we do have a little bit of workshop here. We got some things left behind on the shelves, as well as just a bunch of stuff left here. Got a couple of old fridges, and uh, we're gonna see if we could find a staircase to get upstairs. Nice tiled staircase. So this potentially looks like an area that was affected by fire, as there is no roof above us, but it's also possible that this was a courtyard. There is a fireplace here. We have one spiral staircase. And behind us, another one. Another fireplace. Wow, this kind of looks like a, this resembles a church, but it also has kind of a cabin feel to it. This is an awesome large room. You can imagine the parties that David Abercrombie was throwing back in the day. There is a lot of vandalism here, definitely more than I like when exploring, but the exterior and the architecture of this place is too good to pass up. Everything is still beautiful. The things that are here can't even be vandalized. They're just built into the home itself. So it's definitely a pleasant surprise. We have a little a little stage area perhaps, just a little lift up, everybody would sit here, there could be music playing, who really knows, but there's a lot of good vibes in here. We also have a, a nice candle chandelier. These things definitely date back. Pretty nice couch at that. Uh, this looks like it was the kitchen. Honestly, nothing too fancy. Just some nice woodwork in here. And uh, got an old fridge. Let's open it, or try to at least. Gravity's working against me here. Okay. Nope. Empty. Smells pretty moldy though. Okay, next to the bat next to the kitchen, we actually have a bathroom. Kind of a weird setup. So it could have been a bedroom. Not a spiral staircase, but still a nice one. Where should we go, left or right? Attic's over there. But we have another couch. Ooh, a couple of couches. This is another chill room. Fireplace and all. Got 
people walking their dogs here. So I guess this is a pretty uh, popular place for locals. Here we are. This is definitely an outside area. I don't know who that is. People wake making some weird noises. Chris, was that you? What? People above us, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> oh. We're not alone. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I saw the lady walking her dog. Here's uh, another little outside area. I would imagine they would have like a barbecue out here. Oh wow, another. There was another staircase. This is sick. This place is awesome. I love the architecture. I love the stonework put into this place. And I'm super glad I came here because I saw pictures online and uh, I saw how destroyed it was, how much vandalism, how much graffiti, and it kind of negated my my want to come here. But seeing what I see now, I'm very happy I came. We got the moon peeking at us. It's twilight now. A little bit of blue in the air. Sun's going down probably within 30 minutes. So, uh, we're here outside the place. Oh, we actually have some more ruins over here. I guess we'll check that out real quick. Okay, this is awesome actually. This is a remnant of an old bridge because we have a huge dip down here in the, in the middle. And on the opposite side, there's another stone arch. So about once upon a time, Probably originally when this place was built, this might have been the original entrance. And for some reason, they took this bridge out. So this is a cool uh, ruin of uh, the original estate here. Okay, so right now I'm gonna try to find a way to this guest house, I'm guessing it is, down here. Okay, this one's super overgrown. Huh. Yeah, so I definitely get little cabin vibes from here. We got a couple old couches, three to be exact, and a spiral staircase going down. Now this building actually does have a lot of newspapers in here. I'm curious to see if these are dating back to the 80s just because this looks like it's been run down for quite a while. Let's take a look. Okay, well this one's 1996, so we're not too far off. Downstairs is pretty wrecked. Just have various furniture and cabinets all over the place. Other than this spiral staircase, there's not much to look at. So now we're outside of this place. Now we have the Sunday news from March. 14th, 1976. This must have just blown out of the house because if this was outside, it would have been severely water damaged. But this is pretty cool. We have a nearly over 50 year old
comic strip. We also have more cartoon strips, but this is actually an advertisement for the Green Giant. So you don't see advertisers getting that creative anymore. This one looks like it's been outside for quite a while. Old stickers. turns out that even more people arrive. So our goal of trying to go into the back of the property and waiting the people out so we're not kind of bothered while we explore doesn't look like it's happening. But anyway, the sun's really about to go down. So to end this video, we're gonna head to the tippity top of this place and uh, that'll be it. little nighttime exploring. I haven't done this in a while, but adds to the vibe. Cool little attic area. This is definitely the chill spot. Okay, and we can go even farther up. Wow, even more up. It's a pretty tight fit. Oh, here we are on the top. A beautiful sunset. Here we are. We made it. Explored everything. Alright guys, if you did enjoy that video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. It lets me know right away if you did enjoy it. And uh, this place was awesome. Despite all the graffiti, despite the vandalism, this place is pretty damn cool. It exceeded my expectations, that's for sure. And uh, we're going to be heading out of here now. So like always, until next time, peace out.